In the last two videos, I covered performing a standard search using the country filter and using the results list. In this video, I'll cover the filters you can use to reduce the length of that list if you have too many results. For cataloging purposes, there are three filters aside from the country filter that you may find useful. The administrative division, feature type, and spatial filters. Since filtering by spatial filter is a bit more complicated, I'll cover that in the next video. To use the administrative divisions filter, click on the blue arrow for that section. Right now, you'll see that there's nothing there because I first need to add a country or countries to my search. Once I've added a country, you'll see I now have a list of administrative divisions to choose from. First, I'll do a search without selecting a division. You'll see I have quite a few hits on my list. Now I'll select a division and search again, and you'll see that the resulting list is much shorter. Of course, one issue with limiting our list by administrative division is that it prevents us from seeing that there is a city with the same name and another administrative division in that country. Because of this, we wouldn't know if we needed a qualifier to break a heading conflict. I'll go ahead and reset the administrative divisions filter and use a feature type filter instead. You'll see that I can expand each of these feature type categories and select the individual feature type, but I can also select all to add everything under that entire category. I'll go ahead and select all for populated places and also for administrative regions. Now when I run a search, it will only return jurisdictional headings and will remove things like mountains, bodies of water, airports, and so on. It's a much more manageable list. In the next video, I'll demonstrate spatial filtering.